more bad weather this weekend. What can we expect? Yes, as you say, there's a weather system coming through at the moment, bringing heavy rainfall and strong winds. And it's the winds in particular that we're concerned about tomorrow, particularly in the southwest and for southern Wales. Wind speeds getting up to 60 to 70 miles per hour. And combining that with a, a spring high tide, there, there is expected to be coastal flooding around the early hours of tomorrow morning, then probably again in the evening tomorrow because of the high winds and the high tides. Who's likely to be worst affected? I mean, are Somerset going to see more flooding? Well, the rainfall that's out there at the moment is, is going to cause inland flooding and there's nine severe flood warnings out in place at the moment. Three in the southwest of England, sorry, six in the southwest of England and three in the Midlands. Um, but it's the coastal areas that we're more concerned about in the early hours of tomorrow morning and then again tomorrow evening as the high tides combine with those high winds. Well, we heard yesterday that this January has been the wettest in 100 years since records began. Why is that? Where's all this rain coming from? Well, it started back in the middle of December when uh, the, the weather systems really started to kick in across the Atlantic. We had some big storms before Christmas and really that unsettled weather continued right throughout January. And we're looking at the top of the atmosphere, something called the jet stream, which is a band of strong winds that comes right across the Atlantic. And you can even go and look across in North America what's driving that jet stream. It's the contrast in very cold air in the Arctic. And we're aware of, aware of that polar vortex that's brought very cold conditions to North America and the milder air to the south. And it's that sharp contrast in temperature that really is causing the jet stream to be unusually strong for this time of year, driving those weather systems across the Atlantic to our shores. So day after day, we're just seeing bands of cloud and rain affecting, and that's built over the last six or seven weeks to, to give us the flooding that we've seen. And please tell us, is there an end in sight yet? Well, it certainly looks unsettled going ahead into February. Change of month, hopefully a change of weather, but it doesn't look that way. Um, as I say, tomorrow we're really just concerned about the strong winds and coastal flooding. And then we get a little bit of a respite for the weekend, particularly on Sunday with some drier weather. More rain on Monday. Goodness. I mean, is this something that we're likely to see on a regular basis? We had a very wet winter last year too. Is this something we can expect in the future? We are seeing more flooding events uh, on, on regular basis. And I think if you look at climate change scenarios, the expectation is as the climate warms, it can hold more moisture. So we see heavier deluge of rainfall. So there is an expectation that we could see more flooding events in the future.